on today's episode, no, no, on that's today's right. episode, no, that, that's not right neither. What the hell is that? That that's still not right. Oh, oh hell no. That, that's that's a little better. No, not what I'm looking for. Oh, we're we're not there yet. Give me a couple more years. If you ever wondered. Okay, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. On today's episode of Chilling with the Mad Snapper, we're going to work on a puzzle. The 3D hologram Star Wars puzzle. I've got about 30 minutes, maybe an hour left. Here we go. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> Who cares? Probably got about 30 minutes or so left on this puzzle. Um, then I'm going to flatten it out. I'm not very good at puzzles to begin with, so I decided to give you know, a 3D hologram puzzle that makes it even better. Uh, two days, got it done, or almost done. Then we're going to glue it, and when it sits with the glue, I'm going to go get some resin, because I want to resin it, because I'm a Star Wars geek. Got a little bit left to do so have a drink and put you on time lapse and get it done be right back Okie dokie. So this is my first time doing this. I uh, think I might have used too much glue. It says it's going to dry clear. I don't know. I watched a couple of YouTube videos as we're trying to make this YouTube video. We'll see how it works out. If you noticed me pointing the two spots earlier in the time lapse, that was because there was one little piece missing off of one of the uh, lock-in pieces. And I had that one little piece saved for all three days, two days, three days I was doing this puzzle. And meant to super glue it in until I started this part. I emptied the box and forgot about that piece. So we just got done spreading the glue. Hopefully it will uh, dry clear because right now it looks kind of scary. I've got a big box over here. I'm going to put on top of that. Then I'm going to come back in the morning, flip it over if I don't get mad and destroy it, put another bottle on the back side, and then get the resin I uh, used probably three quarters of a four ounce bottle of the Elmer's this is just another brand and I feel like it was too much but I don't know we'll find out so I'll probably only use half this bottle on the back side and if you're wondering why I'm using the glue before the epoxy is because the research that I did the epoxy will get in between the pieces and cause it to lift and if it's a lighter colored piece it will uh, what's the word I'm looking for not evaporate but 
saturate. It will saturate into the cardboard pieces itself. Kind of like a, a, drip of, a drop of water would. They would just expand and go into this paper. And that's what we don't want to happen. So... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hopefully this will work out. I don't know. It's not looking good for the home team right now. I should have done it in sections like everybody had mentioned in their previous videos. But all else fails, I have another one to do. And I will try it again. This came from Costco, 14 bucks or so. That's the one I did. That's the one I'm gonna do next time when I've got time. I've got a busy couple of weeks coming up, so I'm probably not gonna start it anytime soon. This is it in 2D. I originally wanted to router the table and set it inside this uh, desk and then epoxy it, but I don't have time for all that. That's a week long project because I don't want to sand this and stain it and burn it and all that good stuff. But for now, I haven't done a puzzle since I was a kid because I was no good at them. And I figured, hey, let's go with a hologram puzzle. That shouldn't be easier. No, it was not. Now there is a benefit to hologram puzzles. Holograms are striped. They're going one way or the other way. So you know the piece is only going to go one of two ways versus four ways. In this puzzle, we had, like in, for instance, this piece, this piece, and this piece. They're all the exact same. We had multiple pieces that would have fit in multiple places. And it was trying. Hopefully this will dry clear. Anyway, let me put this box on it and uh, time to go run some errands. Go home. We'll see how it turns out in a couple of seconds for you and a day for me. Alright, we got the back side done. Let's move this out of the way. It's dry. Now I just gotta figure out what I wanna do with the epoxy. What do I wanna put on? Do I wanna put on a piece of cardboard? Do I wanna go spend money on a frame? I just don't know. Hmm. Okay. Let's establish the difference between a 3D hologram style puzzle, which makes it look 3D versus an actual hologram that changes the picture itself. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'll check it later when I go to put the videos together. Anyway, see this picture actually changes. The other one does not. The other one is just a 3D type purpose. So the uh, the glue getting in the lines isn't going to change anything. I'm really, really hoping it comes out okay with the epoxy on it. Because I don't think I needed to... Uh, seal this from the front side like a lot of them you do so it doesn't saturate through but either way we're going to try it see what happens my first time doing this especially with a hologram also went and got a little fancy i am going to put a frame around it went to michael's because hobby lobby is closed they had this pretty little frame rock here on the discount rack for a whopping eight bucks eight dollars and then I went and picked up a uh, 
chalkboard backing situation and I just cut it down and sanded the edges for a super super tight fit. And I actually scratched it right here, so I don't know how that's going to turn out. Already had this paper, so no expense there. But the um, the armor's glue, it actually holds the puzzles together way better than I expected. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> so I'm going to take this board, put it on this, and I'm going to tape it up. I'm going to take some tape, put it around here, flip it over, push it down, put it um, like this, put a small layer of epoxy down, two part up. Art epoxy, super clear. Then I'm going to gently set this inside the epoxy. And then I'm going to pour epoxy over. Yep. I don't know, that's a pretty good gap. I may rethink that. So give me a minute, let me think on that, look around and see what else I can come up with. And we'll be right back. I have figured out what I'm going to do. Also, here's the, uh, the puzzle itself. See how it's 3D but not hologrammy. So, that's the new game. Traffic in the background. I added a uh, layer of cardboard to this. This is my supposedly super glossy clear resin. Like uh, 80 bucks at Michael's versus Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has some pretty good things, but Michael's isn't as big as Hobby Lobby at our local store, but it uh, doesn't have as much stuff either. Alright, so right now I am going to put down some backing tape. into place. I'm gonna flip it over to put pressure on it. And then put the um, the other backing board. Chalkboard, whatever it was. It was like four bucks. I should have just bought a dang old piece of plywood like 20 bucks the right shape and sanded it and all that good stuff and I'll save some time but then I had way too much time invested into this little project sweet now I get to do it again because I forgot to put the backing board in first but Now I get an idea how much I have left. So I want to darken that. I think I'm just going to take a marker and black all that out. So while I do that, we're going to put you on time lapse so I can start all over. Spray painted edges, as you saw that on time lapse. This is two parts. Measure equal parts of part A, part B by volume. And that is what I'm going to do now. Now I'm going to pour some in. Spread it around with the spreader. Uh, something Hobby Lobby had, but Michaels didn't. And then I'm going to let it sit for a second, 
put the puzzle in, let it sit for 30 minutes or so, then I'm going to come back over it with uh, more epoxy. Back to time lapse. Here we go. Okay, so this is my first time working with this stuff. I did do a floor epoxy years ago, uh, Epoxy Masters, a metallic copper. It came out really good. Uh, I did not use a torch or anything on that, but I kind of wish I had of because I just used the heat gun on this, and it was pretty satisfying watching the little air bubbles come up. I'm kind of stoked. I have no idea what the pot life is for this. Um, should have read the directions more. I probably should have said uh, danger harmful for skin. I probably should have wore some gloves, but I did not. Uh, there's no VOCs, so I don't have to worry about a respirator. But if you see about stuff over here, I do some painting, so I'm not too worried about it. I've got a uh, road glide front end. I've got a paint. Uh, I'm probably going to paint this Road King eventually. Uh, i got another road glide project I'm going to put on this Kawasaki Voyager over there. And yeah, anyway, back to the puzzle. Back to the puzzle. I am uh curious to see how this is gonna come out. I'm not a puzzle guy, like I said in the beginning of the uh, the video, if it comes out. I had a shoulder injury and I was just wanting to kill some time and I didn't feel like cleaning up my mess in here, so I put together a puzzle in a couple days. I like art, as you can see in the shop. Definitely have some art. I like Star Wars. Alright, enough babbling. I'm going to uh, read some more directions on this stuff. Yeah, I don't know. And then I'm going to drop the puzzle into that and pour them on. And what I did was uh, 10 ounces of part A and then 10 ounces of part B. So he goes up to 20 ounces instead of using the one to one because whatever. I can do math. Simple math. And then when it's all said and done with, we'll flip it over and uh, after it dries for a day, put some stuff on it so I can hang it. Probably put it there. And maybe that one next to it, or both of them over there. I don't know, we'll see. Could put them here on this desk, but then people's gonna run into them and kick them. I don't know. And then I'm going to eventually sand this desktop down and probably try some of that stone coat countertop stuff. Anyway, enough babbling, let's get to it. So this is turning out really, really, really good, really cool. Um, if I get real close, like right there, you can watch the air bubbles. Pop with the heat and it's super satisfying because I always skip this step in the past. One right there. So 
so I could put another layer on there, but I'm gonna let it cure a little bit first. That way all the air bubbles escape and I'll put another layer on it to try to make it even. I don't know if you can see that. The little dip from the puzzle down. And that was only 20 ounces, so I got plenty left. Yep, I'm gonna let it sit for a couple more minutes and I'm gonna go back over it with the heat gun one more time. Then I'm gonna put my box over it so it can sit overnight. And then we'll add another layer tomorrow, probably. Epoxying a 3D hologram puzzle. Turned out okay after all. Can't see none of the imperfections from the overuse of the glue. Just a couple spots where it was just a cheap puzzle missing a couple little chunks. Here we go. Came out really, really good. That's a wrap. So, don't be scared to experiment. Unless it's a money issue, just don't waste your money until you get ready. Um, the puzzle was 15 bucks. This was eight bucks. Probably would cost you 20 or so to have it made to size. Uh, the backing board was pieces of cardboard plus a four dollar chalk board, which is why it's black around the edges. I'm trying to talk, dang it. The uh, this was like five bucks. These were extra. These were things I already had. A lot of supplies I already had. Um, those are two for four dollars that I had one of those that was probably the most expensive thing which is the epoxy itself but not too bad for me because I plan on using it for another project yeah pretty neat so I will uh, try this again I don't know if I'm gonna put this other puzzle together because I don't like the scenery I mean it's I'm more into the vehicles than I am the people but might give that one away but that was cool obviously I like the uh, the Falcon I've got Christmas decorations with it on there too yep that's it I quit babbling now give it a try it was uh, the only reason I decided to make this was because I hadn't seen anybody on the YouTube posting about the 3D or hologram ones so now I know what to and what not to do. Uh, next time, if it's black like this, hologram with the plastic coating, I will not seal it with the Elmer's glue on the front. I will the back, but not the front. Yep. That's probably the only real mistake I made. I'm getting paint on my hands. There, there it is. Alright guys, thanks for watching. No telling what project we're going to do next. Probably going to post on the Dakota soon. Uh, project on the C3 Corvette, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to keep it yet. Who knows? A couple of concerts I got to work coming up. There's no time. <laughs>